Okay, this is an update on a application I've been working on, Windows Forms C Sharp Servo Controller. I've got a previous video where I talk about uh, the first version of the application which had just one slider and basically controlled one servo. So what I've added uh, to the application is the ability to control another server I'm sorry another servo and as we can see here we have another slider on the left hand side we have a grid that we can click on and this controls where the servo needs to point to the idea being that this would be something like a computer or a webcam screen capture using OpenCV, EMGU, CV and this would be the quadrant that the face or object would be detected in and tell the servo where to look so when you click these buttons right here, uh, right now the servo is disconnected because my microphone is also part of the webcam, which is also part of the servo mechanism, uh, makes noise. But anyway, when you click on these, when you look at the, the video that comes with this, this video, you will see that the uh, camera uh, the servos are moving around and the webcam is obviously moving around because it's connected to the servos. On the right hand side we have the application state. <clears throat> so I, I found something that I've used before in the past on the net <clears throat> which is a very simple uh, finite state machine written in C-sharp. It's really easy to, for me anyway, to understand and to use to control the state which the application is in. And what that means is, is that uh, there are uh, essentially two timers, uh, Windows timers that are running, that are firing events into this application. One is keeping track of the connected and disconnected state of the uh, servo controller. The other one is keeping track of the state of the what's going on with the servos so every half second <coughs> that uh, Windows timer is getting fired and we're going in and we're updating the state of the application so instead of having a bunch of booleans and if this else statements and things like that I'll be going over the code uh, in, the next, in the next video I'm using a state machine so basically what we do here is when we click explore now we're in the exploring state and the timer continuously updates and it it goes in and checks to see well what state are we in well if we're exploring then run the explore um, what I'm gonna call move plan or it, it's basically telling these, uh, it's running code over and over and over again that's going through a sequence of positions that the servo uh, controller needs to move in. So right now the servo is not hooked up. Uh, again, you can look at the video, but I essentially click the exploring bit, uh, button and it goes into the exploring mode in the video and you can see the servo start moving around. Uh, what I don't have hooked up right now is when the servo is moving, uh, these boxes right here reflect where the servo is looking at. That's that's kind of the next step. And I have to actually go in and, and write code to read where the servo thinks it is. Uh, the whole time uh, I'm telling the servo where I want it to go. So this is a learning process. Uh, for me, but it's very educational going through this. But what you can see uh, working is the uh, uh, tilt and pan sliders will move based off of where the servo uh, is being told to look at. So 
Uh, I'll go over the code uh, in the next video on how this uh, is working and my thought process. I basically got the idea of having this view, uh, this quadrant grid here uh, from a paper I saw online which was only about one page of a student doing uh, uh, motion control but it gave me the idea of cutting up the screen uh, this eventually will be the uh, a screen capture and cutting up every uh, making smaller and smaller regions that we can detect where either a face or a object is in the video stream and then tell uh, no to tell the servo okay you need to go over to this quadrant you need to go to this one anyway uh, hopefully this video uh, turns out to be educational and uh, you're enjoying uh, this video and the rest of them